Hey, welcome back. We're the Kanpai guys. We Kanpai, so you don't have to. Unless you want to. Today, we're looking at the Hayate blended whiskey. This whiskey is produced by the Minami Alps Wine and Beverage Company. It is a Family Mart exclusive item. Again, this is a blended whiskey. It is 40% alcohol by volume or 80 proof. So we've been trying to pick this up for about six months. It's been really difficult to get hold of. Finally, Wait, we what? can bring it to what? you. What are you talking about, Pete? What, it's, this is an expensive bottle of whiskey, right? This is uh, like a thousand yen, like 10 US dollars. We picked, it th we, we picked this up today. This is like bottom of the barrel stuff. So, will the Hayate blended whiskey exceed our very low expectations? Before we dig in, if you're new to the channel, please uh, subscribe. We really appreciate it. And if you hit the bell notification, you will get updates for when we go live or publish new videos. Alright, so the Hayate blended whiskey. We picked this up at Family Mart today, and when we came across it, um, I guess both of our first impressions were like, wait, what is this? Yeah, it kind of stood out to me. I've noticed it in uh, the actual Family Mart opposite my apartment as well. Never really thought about buying it, to be honest with you. <laughs> we're here to provide you with you know, whiskey reviews. And the uh, deepest, darkest convenience store secrets. So we picked this bottle up again for about 10 US dollars or a thousand yen. And the first thing we did was we went on to Amazon Japan to try to find, you know, more context for this bottle. Funny reviews. And yeah, it turns out it's not on Amazon. I mean, when you typed it in, we got all kinds of things. Yeah. Uh, ladies underwear, uh, small kids like toys, had limples. No Hayate though. No whiskey. No Hayate. So we dug a little deeper and we were able to find the manufacturer's website. Again, this is produced by the Minami Alps Wine and Beverage Company. Minami Alps. Sounds very fresh. Right. Pure water. I know, right? $10. You know, kind of a nice name, but kind of corporate. Too. 700 milliliters. Sounds kind of $10. corporate -y to me. Yeah, we searched the producer's website from top to bottom and we found no trace of the existence of this Hayate Blinter Whiskey. Maybe the company don't even know this product exists. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some dude in like the outback of Family Mart's just like pouring this <laughs> out himself. <laughs> the Minami Alps Wine and Beverage Company, they primarily make wine and again they have some various whiskies on their product page as well. Not this one though. <laughs> I don't have very high hopes for this. I'm not sure why you would. No, so. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't exist on the internet. Yeah. So. <laughs> so again, nothing on the official manufacturer's page for this, but we did find a small blurb on the Family Mart website. This is what Caution. Family Mart, the Japanese convenience store, has to say about Be careful. Finished with natural water that is ideal for whiskey that springs from the Southern Alps. A unique blend of whiskey raw liquor that has been stored for at least three years. It is characterized by its mellow and sweet taste. Finished. Not very descriptive. Finished? Yeah. Done? That's I, done. I see. Are you uh that could be any whiskey. Like yeah. clean water runs down and we made a whiskey. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So today we will be trying this whiskey, first neat, and next as a highball. So if it works as a highball, we can save some money. Yeah, that's right. Any uh... one question before we jump into it? Okay. 
What if we drink this and it's the greatest whiskey you've ever drunk? Would it destroy your universe? <laughs> well, wouldn't that be something? <laughs> I mean, in life in general, I'm all about like uh, happy surprises. So let's try it out. Neat. Okay. All right. So it was a bit challenging to find online reviews and tasting notes for this mm. whiskey, but I did happen to find one Japanese blog. So today we'll be using that translated from Japanese into English. It's a bit harsh on the nose. It smells quite sweet. For me, it stings a bit. Yeah, stings too. Yeah. Nothing about it really stands out. Like really bottom budget <laughs> Japanese whiskeys. What did our blog, I think? The scent is a little weak. A feeling of young alcohol. Yellowish theme. Lemon canned chew highness. <laughs> so it smells like a lemon chew high. No. <laughs> it tastes a little mild. Okay, I'll read it literally. <laughs> I feel a little mild. I don't really care about the thorns of alcohol. <laughs> what would that mean? Harsh. Like the harshness on the harshness. nose? Yeah. Like he doesn't really like it. Artificial vanilliness. The powderiness of Ramune tablet. <laughs> Through his nose? Hold up. I can kind of pick up on that. He's a very impressive nose, I have to say. So if you don't know what Ramune is, it's a Japanese kid's cider. He's saying like in <clears throat> tablet form, like a powder. So like a powdery soda smell. Light peach, natural water. Does not, mm. does not smell of natural water. Mm. I can kind of pick up on the peach. Yeah, for the nose, I can partly agree with this blogger. Kanpai? Kanpai. Kanpai. Uh-uh, no way. <laughs> no way. There's something off about that. What is that? Like in terms of like uh, lighter flavor notes and heavier flavor notes, it's like 90% on the light side. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, please forgive this analogy. It's like listening to like listening to a song or like an MP3 where you turn the bass it down to zero and you boost the trouble. <laughs> Does that make sense? I have a feeling, I don't have a feeling, I know this is going to be much better than a highball. So our blogger friend here for the palette, the texture is not smooth and does not squeak so much. Squeak? I'm not sure what that means. Like a mouse. I don't know. Like a broken wheel in a wheelchair? But he said the texture is not smooth. See, that's the conundrum. <laughs> <laughs> I can agree with it being not smooth. I feel a light and monotonous sweetness. <laughs> yeah. Sure. I feel a faint natural taste like fallen leaves. I don't know, I'm getting flashbacks to our, our craftogen <laughs> reviews now. The bitter sweetness of alcohol can be slightly cocoa. Chocolate? Or like cocoa. The wood taste of the barrel spreads moderately. The simple sweetness and alcoholic feeling stand out. Yeah. Yeah. The simple sweetness. Yep. This blogger seems pretty tuned in to the whiskey tasting. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Very interesting imagery. The finish doesn't really change. It's the same kind of... Same taste. As when you drink it. Yeah. It stays constant. The only difference is the alcohol fuminess. So, do you have any expectations for this highball? Zero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. I don't have much hope at all, to be honest. The only expectation I have is it will probably be better in a highball than neat, because it seems more like a, a Tories or a Nika Black. Black Nika Clear and Tories, they both have much better balance for sure, than this do. whiskey does. Come by, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than I expected. It's not bad. It actually yeah. does balance out 
course it's the kind of highball that if I got in like karaoke something <laughs> I'd be like <laughs> it's alright it's a highball you'd get from an establishment whose main goal is to save as much money as possible maybe like how about like a, a bar in like a bowling alley or something Okay. In America. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah. I think maybe there's a reason why this is a Family Mart exclusive whiskey. Uh, our Japanese blogger friend here has a final statement, a final review. Final verdict. Final verdict, yes. Yes. To be honest, it's a finish that's typical of mysterious whiskeys whose origins are unknown. Even if I try to look at it from various aspects, it only shows the same monotony. I sometimes feel the natural taste of leaves and trees. Basically, simple sweetness and young alcoholic feeling occupy the majority and do not make you feel other personality. I feel a peat feeling in the part where I feel a faint taste, but I don't feel it. <laughs> I usually drink when I don't want to think about anything. This is fine. Indeed. <laughs> really understand why you reviewed this whiskey. <laughs> Several thoughts. Mm. One, if you begin if you begin a review with, to be honest, <laughs> it's not going to go well. <laughs> it kind of sets the stage. It certainly is a mysterious whiskey, considering it does not exist on the internet, even on the company's yeah, website. Yeah, I think that's my favorite point from this passage. It's mysterious in that sense, but also, <laughs> like they don't really say where they source their malt or spirits. spirits. I think it's from the spirits of the forest. That's why yeah. he tastes the leaves and the trees. Um, final thoughts before sure. we move into our compai scores. Like if you want a cheaper, not a cheaper, like if you want a very, scrap that. So, <laughs> <laughs> if you're in the convenience store at 1 a.m., and they ain't got no Tories or something. It might do. My final thoughts. I would say, don't buy this whiskey. <laughs> but if you do buy this whiskey, if you completely ignore the two people who've reviewed it on the internet, if you do buy this whiskey, drink it with soda water as a highball. You know, like they're in, in that movie Super Bad, where they're just like, they just want to get any alcohol and just like pour it into a massive, like, bucket of orange juice. <laughs> then it'd be alright, I think. I would give this uh, two combos. Two combos? Yeah. You? I agree. You? 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 Thank you very much for tuning in for this episode of Combo, guys. If you enjoyed this episode, please give us a like. And if you're not a subscriber yet, please consider subscribing. If you have anything that you'd like to share with us or anything you'd like to see reviewed, please leave us a comment down below. See you on the next mysterious episode. Ooh. Or just go back to Futsu. <laughs> Until the next time. Until next time. See you guys. See ya.